At this time, please say hello and welcome to Mr. Giuseppe Baltigari on the bass. And Mr. Johan Leonhuvit on the guitar. So we're just gonna play a few tunes. My name is Farai on the drums. Thank you. Some people got that.
important people here today is uh, Charlotte. Is she, is she present? She's, anyway, she's the lady who's responsible for the delicious soup and cakes that we're having today. The funny story about that is that we used to have this event a, a little more than a year ago, and it was uh, called Jazz Jam and Food, and there was a buffet. And this time we decided uh, that it's going to be outside when the weather's good, and that it's going to be based on barbecue. Did I say that before? Barbecue. And uh, when they when they wrote jazz jam and cakes, I was like, hey, wait, what about the barbecue? Because I'm a meat freak. I don't know. Barbecue is kind of cool, right? All right. So I, the, a part of the theme is uh, summery fruits, watermelon, pineapple, and all of that kind of good stuff and barbecue, so look forward to that. It would be nice if we had the smell of smoking <laughs> barbecue. I'm really hungry too. So that's a cool thing. Today though, there's gonna be some delicious soup and I already had a piece of cake and it was really good and that's happening over there. Uh, yeah, so don't forget about the barbecue and, and don't forget that it's every Sunday. Also, there's a lot of little ones here today. Another cool thing is we're gonna have a situation for the kids to uh, come and interact with the musicians, with the instruments, touch the bass, play the drums, color some pictures about jazz musicians and jazz music and jazz instruments uh, and some organized activities and a young lady to help manage that, some supervision. So please spread it. He said, yeah, yeah, right, supervision. <laughs> Supervision, I heard that before. <laughs> so it's, uh, I'm excited. You all have no idea because before it was really cool and it wasn't based outside. Summertime's just coming. I was thinking about digging a hole and making a pool, but we couldn't get a license. We're going to keep going with the music. I just wanted to let you know about the food. All right? Have something delicious to eat. Johan on the guitar, just up on the bass. It is a jam session, so if we have some musicians in the house, I know of one or two, and I'm not, I don't want to call them out, but let's see what happens. What do you know? Where's the, where's the sign? What do you know? It's Kelvin Shola on the piano. Okay, let me do it again. What do you know? It's Calvin Scholar on the piano. Woo! All right. That was good practice, though. Thank you. 
Wait a minute, what, barbecue, 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 everything's working. Uh, some of the authors that are reading tomorrow, the, some of their works are here available on the table. Also, please take a look. Actually, don't just take a look, take, take them home with you. All right? Now the public service announcement. Uh, tonight, the program that we're doing downstairs there's going to be some reading, some spoken word. Uh, I'm going to tell dirty stories from my grandmother's, from my grandfather's collection. And uh, we're going to do some musical interaction with the, with the uh, text, kind of a twist on everything that's going on. And uh, one of the gentlemen that's going to be not only playing the music, but reading tonight is uh, Mr. Kelvin Scholler. So I want to give him just a second to tell you a little bit about what he's going to do. Hello, you all. Maybe it's better I come around so you can see me a little more clear. He's also a model. <laughs> come and tell you I'm so happy to be able to present something more than just playing music. 
Last time we had a really great program in February. I have a festival called the Black Music Renaissance, and we had four weeks of amazing music from John Coltrane to Alice Coltrane. We featured the music of Africa. We featured blues and gospel. So we really covered a spectrum, and it was an amazing event. And I'm really happy today to present something different. Um, I've been associated with works of Martin Luther King for the US government. I talk about Martin Luther King doing Black History Month and present some of his favorite famous speeches, such as I Have a Dream speech, which actually originated in Detroit. He gave that speech first in Detroit. And I read text from that. Not only that, but Paul Lawrence Dunbar and other famous African-American poets. But tonight, I will get a chance to present a very famous author from Detroit. Uh, she has five books, and she's CEO of her own company. She created a Fortune 500 company to write and uh, do her own works. And lo and behold, she's a very successful author, and she's my sister. Yeah. So we come from that kind of family. My brother's also a Grammy Award winning guitar player, uh, writing songs with Kanye West and Frank Ocean and so on and so forth. So we're part of a movement. Like Mr. Eric Vaughn has been out there doing naked jazz since the 90s, putting on records for various record companies. So we're all part of a movement of intelligent, young, African-American, and other types of races and people and genres and music and everything. So tonight, I will be doing two great selections from her book. One is about a fictional funeral that she goes to, and she's a crime writer. And um, I would give you a taste of it, but there's babies here. And believe me, my sister, she's pretty, but she's got a, she's, her mouth is worse than mine. And um, you guys are going to have a real laugh, a real treat, and I really hope to see you guys not only tonight, but tomorrow to support all these great artists and poets and everything. And hope to see you guys there. All right. I think uh, we should have some text. Please welcome to the bandstand. I say that uh, I get tired of hearing me say this speech. She's uh, the epitome of joy. Epitome like the purest representation of joy. Uh, she's a great singer. But somehow, not just with a smile, but with her delivery, you smile like he's smiling. That gentleman right there is just... I always get that. Sometimes I feel a little nervous saying, I'm like, suppose I'm wrong today. It never happens. Please welcome Miss Miriam Netty. I want to take some bets on who doesn't smile. de sofrer Encontra um coração tão bem cansado de sofrer E tempo de se pensar que o amor pode de repente Quando existe alguém que te salta de outro alguém E esse outro alguém não
Quando o coração que está cansado de sofrer Encontra o coração também cansado de sofrer É mesmo de se pensar Que o amor pode de repente chegar Quando existe alguém que tem Saudade de outro alguém E esse outro alguém não entender Deixa esse novo amor chegar Mesmo que depois Seja precedível chorar que todo foi eu que é pai de raciocinar nas coisas do amor que ninguém pode explicar. Vimos dois, vamos tentar só o novo amor.
in a field of white and stars fell
just sing along. Oh, so 
Me manda jogar a lata no meio Se me tem testa Me vinte no saco de milhão 